Hello everyone, Sidewinder here, and I'm back with some more Witcher 3. And <laughs> you might be wondering what I'm doing here when it says talk to Vesemir and last time we had no such objective. Um, I done goofed. I thought I was to the point in recording. I was basically overconfident in my ability to record and I didn't test my mic before recording and I recorded for an hour without even recording my own voice so that's great the stuff I did in that recording <coughs> wrong button sorry um, I did the contract for Devil by the Well um, and missing an action no never mind that was episode two. The contract for Devil by the Well, and I pr basically got the main quest to this point. Um, and also I decided that I was going to clear the map off screen because that would just take way too long. And this is just the tutorial area, so it didn't really matter. So yeah, all this gray stuff means that it's completed. I had quite a lot of time on my hands to do this so basically just to go over what things on the maps are this is a bandit camp basically just a bunch of enemies to clear and there's usually a loot chest at the end uh, there's a place of power which you can use to upgrade your signs for a short amount of time and it gives you a free upgrade point this is a guarded treasure, which means there's usually a high-level monster guarding a loot chest. Uh, smuggler's cash. Those are basically just random things you can loot. Abandoned site is there's a bunch of enemies to clear around a site, and then you just... Well, yeah, you clear them, and then all the people come back to that site. Usually it's a village. Uh, monster nests. Those, I think I went over them a little bit, but not a whole lot. Those are basically just a bunch of enemies to clear, and then you have to drop a bomb, a certain type of bomb, rather, into the nest to destroy it. And... anything else? This is Spoils of War, and that's basically the same as a Thieves Cache. And then Hidden Treasure, which usually gives you a quest to find a key or something. And that's about it. So, since I'm not going back and re-recording all that stuff, I'm just gonna go through the end of the tutorial area, which is talking to Vesemir so we can kill the griffin. So, hey bud. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Um... For half a year. Wow. It's a long time. But we've talked to Vesemir enough. Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Uh, got some information. Some things. It's a male, had its nest in the vulpine woods. The Nelf Guardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. It's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. And got some buckthorn. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? He's got that right. That Zugal in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. And time to I'm set ready. the trap. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and 
Far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. Everything's gonna be fine. And he's basically just gonna run. So I'm just gonna follow him. Because why not, right? Except Vesemir seems to have infinite sprint. Don't know how, but he must be a hacker. Well, he's definitely not taking the shortest path, apparently. Though there is a creek that I have to cross. Beat you! <laughs> and probably have to wait, yep. of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Ready. Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Yep. No, okay, wait. thanks. It was wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me. Once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our pads. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. A guest? Who might that be? <coughs> Hear that? It's close. <coughs> Let's go give it a warm welcome. Wait, make this. Crossbow. Won it in a card game while you ran around. Might come in handy. Gambling. How about that? Always lectured us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. <laughs> Dodging the question. Watch out! Uh, target it, please. Thank you. And I want art on for this one because when the Griffin charges me, that can happen. Oh god. At least this doesn't cause bleeding. Come on. I need to stun you. I have some perks to level up, too. What now? Uh oh. It's not good. Heal! Heal me! By drinking water, because that apparently works. Damn. At least Vesemir doesn't have a health bar. That would really suck. Because I'd have to protect him too. Oh, I missed him. <coughs> Put on the crossbow, because why not? Because the crossbow works just as well as Ard does. And just keep spamming attacks, because why not? Spam and dodge. That's basically the combat system in Witcher. Ooh. Igni. Oh, and we have to follow the griffin now because he's running away like a little bitch. Stop. Stop, I say. Come on. Yeah, I don't know why this one runs away. <coughs> There's a lot of other contracts that don't run away. I don't even know if there is another contract where the enemy runs away, but let's do this. Yeah, that was close. 
Oh god. He hasn't even done... That's the first time he's done that attack. Usually he spams it. Ow. Yeah, usually the toughest part about hunt fighting things that fly is they usually have bleed or poison that they can put on you and that just drains your health. However, if you put something like Quen on, then they can't. It takes away the bleed effect and it also takes away poison. Ow. You stunned us. And I stunned you. Okay, this thing should die pretty quick here. Come on, just die. When I didn't know the combat system for this, God, it took me a long time to kill this thing. Well, Not that's bad. the end of the griffin. Not bad. Though you could stand to improve some things. I know. For example, upward vertical strike, it's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the griffin's head to the black ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Ah, uh, there it is. Monster eye, griffin's egg, raw meat, monster tongue, and griffin trophy. Which is basically cutting off its head and strapping it to our horse. Because why else would I take this? And what else would I do with it? And now we have a griffin head on our horse. Yay. Also, that is not where I killed the griffin. It was right here. Liar. Let's take some blow ball. And now I have to go to the North Guardians. Take it easy. Don't take it easy. Go. Sprint if you have to. Not that way. Luckily, this is fairly close to the Nilf Guardians. No, don't care about the Drowners. Or Bandits, if that was what it was. I didn't take a good look. Uh, okay. Yeah, the best part about killing everything is that I don't have to deal with enemies along the roads. <laughs> Most of the time, at least. Sometimes they actually make you deal with enemies. Just because they spawn randomly. <coughs> what the hell is this? Right. You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. No, I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! See, just adding some context here, if I actually had recorded correctly in the last recording. He was being very kind to that man. And now he's being a dick. Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes. But I then might you have. wouldn't have killed the Griffin. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. Exactly. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. I'll take the coin.
Witchers never do anything for money. Or for free. Not for money. They do everything for money. And you can hear this guy getting lashed. You can't see it though. Where'd Roach go? Oh, there he is. He just moved to a stable. Such a smart horse. And he's drinking all the water. What a glutton. Get going. And now for the long ride back to the tavern. Yeah, so... Obviously there's the tone of... Lots of people are an asshole in this game, which I absolutely adore because being an asshole is one of my favorite things to do, as you can probably tell from a few of our Rocket League recordings. But that's neither here nor there. <coughs> the best part is Geralt is capable of being an asshole and able to back himself up in a fight. Just going to trample all over your crops. And we are almost back to the tavern. Where someone lies in wait. Vesemir. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? We've got trouble. trouble it's those guys that I beat the shit out of. Time we were on our way. Mm -hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. Yeah, you should probably just should go. Stay out of it. Just this once. It's pretty tough to stay out of it when they attack me. Just saying. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down to hang a golden sun there now. I cannot show to Mary in colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? That was very uncalled for. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister go. to him to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! Wow. Leave me be. <laughs> Vesemir can't this take his own you advice. Know what it means. Back off. You all right? Her nose is definitely broken. That true. We what used to. You Your own land, like you did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. And they drew their weapons first. Oh, no. I can see that. So now it's time to kill them all. Come on, come closer. I'm gonna put Axion. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I'm level four. You didn't have to cut off his head, Vesemir. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be. Get away. Yeah, you should pretty much just leave. 
be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. You were the one that got involved. That brawl, we didn't start it. Hey, look, it's Yennefer. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. There's no blood on me. expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. What's the rush? Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment to... Sadly, we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. As far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well... Now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. I wonder what he offered you. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. For good reason, which we will soon see in this cutscene. I got 150 experience points for talking to her. That makes no sense, seeing as how killing enemies in this game doesn't even get you experience. Getting a little chilly out. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. It was. Just the beginning. Filthy enough to be censored. But then. But then. Changed clothes. Now we see the main enemies of the game. The Wild Hunt. The ones the game was named after. It's funny how Geralt and Yennefer were the only ones that got out of this. It's almost as if they're main characters or something. She changed clothes again. Look at that. She's completely magical. Yennefer, how 
I shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? I guess that upgraded Yennefer clothing DLC just didn't cover everything.